Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Grace Lee's Cards. Today we're going to open up a hobby box of uh, Topps 2021 Update Series. I went online yesterday, that's Wednesday 11-3 at like 9 o'clock in the morning and saw that they posted this um, for $79.99. And it is Thursday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I already have it. Um, just insane. And I live in Pennsylvania, so it's not far it's like a two hour drive really for it to go from, I believe it's Scranton, up in Scranton to um, where I live down in Lancaster. But still, um, less, you know, it's just a, a little over 24 hours that I bought it and it's at my door. Um, so pretty cool. Uh, I was expecting this to go really fast online. So when I saw it, I quickly bought it and then sat around for a while thinking of whether or not it was a good decision to buy it. And by the time I was still thinking about it, it had already shipped. So I was like, oh well, okay. Um, but anyway, so um, I don't know if it's still available online, but $79.99 was 95 with the shipping costs. Um, I looked at Steel City Collectibles after I bought it and saw that they were priced at $99.99 um, and then you have to pay shipping on that. So you will save some money if you can still get it online. Um, <clears throat> uh, so yeah, so we're gonna open this up. You only get one autograph or relic per box, but for me, I'm kind of just looking at trying to get some of the base cards uh, in general. Um, I expect to get a relic, as I always do with this, but I've had some luck over the past two hobby boxes I've gotten. I've gotten some autographs, so we'll see how this one goes today. Um, it seemed like from the videos I've been watching about this, it seems a lot easier to get numbered cards, and we'll look at the odds. Um, I think we can probably do that. No, we can't. Not there. It's just that. So, um, so we'll look at the pack, um, but let's get this bad boy open. And we have uh, Acuna on the cover. Braves won the World Series. Everybody's happy because Astros, nobody really enjoys the Astros too much since their cheating scandal. Um, <clears throat> so I know that that's what I thought. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. This is probably my second to last hobby box that I will open up this year. Um, I will definitely be getting a box of Panini Chronicles, which I believe comes out tomorrow, but I don't know if I'll get it right away. Um, so we've got one silver foil pack. I've heard that it's a lot harder to get the autographs in these ones as it has previously been. We'll save that for the end. So 14 cards per pack. <clears throat> see if you can see the odds here. Looks like um, we're definitely due for a rainbow foil, a gold foil. Um, yeah, I guess that's probably about it. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Let's see if we get anything else in here. Maybe a green foil. Um, but yes, yeah, so let's get this started. I'll kind of put it over here. Eh? Um, now we're looking for some of the top rookies. Andrew Vaughn, Jared Kelnick. Um, your name Mercedes is in here, if everyone still considers him a top um, rookie for this class. I'm not so sure. All right. So... Jake Lamb, who I believe was DFA'd. So that's not a great start. Kyle Finnegan, I believe I pulled his autograph at a stadium club this year. Chan Sisko, who's not on the Orioles. I think he's on the Nationals, so that's interesting. Pat Vileka, who just got DFA'd. Wow, this is going well. <laughs> oh, there's a Dylan Carlson, Carlson rookie debut. So I'll put some of the better cards in a side pile, and we'll do the Gracely Five at the end, um, like I typically do. Oh, and we have a vintage stock card. Okay, so this is a vintage stock. I've never pulled a vintage stock card, so you can see the Topps logo is like that. I think these are out of 99, yeah. It's got like a cardboardy feel to it. So Julio Tiran, a vintage stock out of 99. What was that number? Number 10 out of 99. So we did get something um, already that's more numbered. Yeah, I've never seen, never. I've never held a vintage stock card myself. That's pretty cool. We have a Peter Solomon rookie. Don't know who that is. So pack one down. Every pack. I remember doing this for top series two. Going, oh, this one has the relic in it. Maybe it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but they, I think it's just because I'm just not used to having 14 card packs. Luis Patino in his Rays uniform. There's an Andrew Vaughn rookie debut. So we'll put that one aside. Akil Badu. Put that one aside. Man, look at all these. Keeper Ruiz. Or Zach Collins. Gilberto 
Celestino, Darren Ruff, Jock Peterson. We got a Logan Gilbert um, insert here. Put that one aside. Here's some of the rookie combos. I, I always think that these are going to be worth more. Um, and that's mainly because I, back in the day when I was collecting football cards, I believe that I could be even wrong. But there was a, a set of, um, I want to say it was like 2000, 2001, 99, like Pacific for football. And I think Kurt Warner's rookie card was one of those side cards. So then I always think that those are going to be worth more. But um, it's been a long time since um, we've had some side cards that are um, worth a decent amount. Oh, we got a powerful pair of Fernando Testis Jr. and Jake Cronenworth Gold. That's a pretty good card. That's pretty cool. Numbered out of 2021, 0658 out of 2021. That's a really good one. Put that aside. Tyler Ivy. So it's kind of stinks that Ronald Acuna wasn't in the World Series and was injured. I don't know. If, <clears throat> I don't know if that affects his stock, about his value, or if it uh, doesn't do anything. I mean, just it's interesting that they could win that without him. There's an Andrew Vaughn. There's our Andrew Vaughn rookie card. So that's a good one. So we're gonna put that one aside. I don't even know if I've seen that one. Oh man, I can't pronounce his name. Kaye Tom. Never heard of him. These are upside down. Patrick Wisdom. Be interesting to see if Patrick Wisdom has a good year. Wow, we got another gold. This one that's a rookie. Uh, Ronnie Garcia, gold rookie. Out of 2021. 849 out of 2021. We'll put that in our side pile. Franklin Colome. I was Colome, I believe. 95. I do want to kind of keep my eye out for variations now. I don't know if we're due to receive one in the hobby box. Um, I don't know if I can even see on here if it says base card, numbered base card variation, I think. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. We should get a Topps Black Gold insert, which is pretty cool. So we'll see. Or maybe we can, how many packs? How many cards? How many packs are in here? 24? I think it's 24. Okay, Aaron Fletcher, Jake Arrieta, Geraldo Padoma, Tyson Miller. These are upside down again. That made it worse. I think these are an insert, yeah. These all-star game cards, they're inserts. I don't know what I think about that. They're usually just regular base cards, typically. Um, so I was able to get lucky again. I had my friend go out and buy me another box of, um, Bowman Chrome, another mega box of Bowman Chrome. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna, right now I'm just gonna hang on to it. Um, I might eventually open it. I'm kind of wanting to crack at it again since our first one was a little rough. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't know if anybody else has been following... There's a Joe Adele rookie debut. We'll put that one aside. Um, there's already been some a trade, and there's some people that are um, being DFA'd for assignment. I saw Andrew McCutcheon, I believe, is um, not going to be back with the Phillies, or at least his option or whatnot was uh, declined by the Phillies. Um, I saw that Albert Pujols looks like he hit a home run in... No, not a home run. I think he had a walk-off single or something like that in the Dominican Republic. He's playing in the Winter League there. There's Jared Kelnick. So we got the Andrew Vaughn. We got the Jared Kelnick. Um, not sure if your mean Mercedes is the other one that we're looking for. Um, I think there's a die-cut card in here somewhere. All-Star Game, Joey Gallo. There's a Jim Palmer Pat Platinum Players card. I'm not even putting that aside. Pulled too many of those and... Don't know what to do with them. There's a Jake Cronenworth rookie debut with the gold cup. That's cool. Put that one aside. 
Um, who else could see? Um, Tucker Barnhart. I believe that's his name from the Reds. The catcher from the Rays got traded. So I'm wondering if that paves the way for Tyler Stevenson to uh, be the starter, starting catcher next year. So that might be really good. We, don't, we all might be big fans of Tyler Stevenson next year and I'm watching his cards. Sixto Sanchez rookie debut. It's a 70 years of tops Kirby Puckett. That's kind of neat. I'm trying to remember if I can think of who else was. Um, I know Pedro Severino for the O's was. So I follow most things with the O's. There's Alec Bohm's rookie debut with the Gold Cup. So we're getting getting a lot of the good rookie debuts. There's Casey Mize. Nick Matone. Joe Musgrove. Hey Thomas, there's Alex Kirloff, his rookie debut. So we have that one. So I feel like if you want to spend the money on hobby boxes you're going to get most of the base set um now sometimes the the cards that you get in the retail they have some extra little incentives to them um so sometimes it's nice to get those ones also which i will most likely get okay, brace wilson's rainbow foil not numbered or anything Lots of more. I can't believe how many rookies are in this whole set just in general. It's just insane. There's something else in this pack. That is Ryan Mountcastle's rookie debut. That makes me happy. Robert Pujols in the Dodgers uniform. Tariq Skubal. Cards upside down. Brad Miller. Archie Bradley. And there's our relic. Jesse Winker. Cincinnati Reds. Not numbered. All-star game. All-star stitches relic card. Uniform worn, worn during the all-star game festivities. Jesse Winker, not a not a big name or anything. Big name this year. But uh interesting. Kind of keep that on the screen. All these packs just feel so thick. It's crazy. It's like they pack them full. Justin Williams. So now we're kind of just looking for base cards. We're looking for um, paralleled cards. It's Bryce Harper. Mark Schmidt. Frenchy Cordero, I believe, was DFA'd. I got a huge stack. Of, it's crazy how many cards are in his head like I said ginormous stack of cards not ginormous nice size stack um i guess it's maybe because i've just been opening up blasters now chronicles when that comes out there's jonathan oh i don't have jonathan india that's right there's his rookie debut when chronicles comes out it's three autographs and one memorabilia card hey look at that we got the joey bart tops black gold that is real cool very neat I wonder if those are going to be like hobby exclusive cards or how they're going to do that. We'll end up getting blasters and it's going to be like three of those per box or something like that. Really annoying. Oops. Okay. Jazz Chisholm, rookie debut. Red and white. Oh my goodness. Best. That's a cool one. Seven years of tops Casey Mize. Oh man, this is like one of my early collecting days. So this is from like 20... I don't even know. I can't tell you. did not say. Probably not. 2006. Yeah, so I was around 10 years old there. Okay. Moving on to another one. So 
So I don't know if anybody else has been having um, luck, but it just seems like there's Jonathan India's base rookie cards. We got kind of the three, I guess there's one more Esteban, or not Esteban Florio, that's Esteban Florio. Your mean Mercedes is the other one I'm looking for. I don't know if everybody else is having luck, but I've seen just, there's a good amount of baseball cards um, out there um, on the shelves. Um, you know, my contact has been getting them from Walmart. Um, I was at Barnes and Noble yesterday and there's lots of prism. There's actually, this was there, um, which is a little surprising since it kind of just came out yesterday. Um, so I don't know if everybody else has been, anybody else has been having difficulties, but it seems like with baseball, at least it's slowing down. There's your mean Mercedes's base. There's Jared Kelnick's rookie debut. So I think we got everything we needed to get as far as the rookies go until some no name person becomes really good. And, and I realized I never got that one. Rug Rugun, oh man, I can't say his name. Odor's green foil board numbered out of 499. I guess I'll put that aside. So all the parallel cards are probably, that's probably all we'll get. Um, and it, we didn't get anybody super great. I guess the Cronenworth Tatis Gold was probably the best one that we got. That's just how it goes. But we did get all kind of the base that I was looking for. So I probably technically do not need to go out and buy any more retail or buy any retail of this if I don't want to. So yeah, you can kind of get it done all in one shot. There's Tyler Stevenson. I was talking about him earlier. He had a pretty good year, I think, um, for the Reds. Oh yeah, look, you, <laughs> I didn't realize you could start seeing some of my piles down there in the corner. Yep, that's how I'm going to do it. Taylor Trammell, kind of forgot about him too. I'll put him in my good pile. Sam Huff, Luis Garcia, rookie debut. Let's keep Brian Hayes' rookie debut. David Garcia, Bobby Dalbeck's rookie debut. Stevenson is old Juan Soto All-Star Game insert card. One thing I haven't checked for, and I, I probably will at the end, unless I notice it, is whether or not we're gonna get a like a rookie variation. Oops, I put that all in the wrong pile. Um, I did get one in series two. I got a Shane McClanahan. It'd be interesting if we get another rookie variation here. Tyler Nequin, Corey Ray. There's that Cronenworth card. And Hendricks. This is Salvi Perez All Star Game card. That's the insert in the pack. Kyle Isbell, Nick Magical, rookie debut, he's on the Cubs. Okay, we're coming down to it. I believe we have five packs left. Crazy, this is like a 20 plus minute video just to go through all these packs. So many cards. Keegan Thompson, Lance Lynn, Brent Honeywell, Nick Gordon, Ryan McKenna. I, I don't know, Ryan McKenna's not doesn't seem to be much of a card, much of a player. It's a bench player, maybe. It's, I mean, that's how a lot of the O's players are. They, they kind of get these um, Rule 5 draft players or something like that and let them play for a little while for a year and see if anything comes up, see if they're any good. And then they're usually kind of not. And then they're gone. Starting to get some repeats, I think. Christian Peche. Charlie Colberson, Rainbow Foil. Oh, that's cool. Look at that Jared Kelnick. That is neat. I think that's 95 tops. 94 tops, does it say? 94. 95 tops, I believe. That's really cool. I like that a lot. All right. So, three more to go. Man, I just can't believe these packs are just so packed. It's crazy. Understandable. John Means is no no. Wilson, Adam Frazier. 
Francisco Lindor. We've got a couple of these, but they're just not. They haven't been much of anybody. I mean, I guess I'm just kind of looking for rookie ones. I think we got a Logan Gilbert. That was the only one that was uh, good. There's Shane McClanahan's rookie debut on the back. Lily, and Paul, Andres Jimenez. Andres Jimenez. I guess they just wanted to do one of them in his Indians uniform, because we saw him a lot in his Mets uniform. Luis Gonzalez. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Alright, I don't think I've seen any variation cards, so if we're going to get one, it'd be in this pack here. Last one, guys. 330 cards in the set. We got our Relic. We got all the base autographs. Just kind of continuing to get some base cards here. Daniel Vogelbach. Hyesung Kim. It's rookie debut. Jonathan. Lo, lo, uh, lo, something. <laughs> Fernando Tatis Jr. 70 years of tops card. Pals face off. All right. I think that's it. So let's kind of put some, which one we think our best are. Oh, you know what I forgot? We got this bad boy to do. So like I said, it's been really hard to get autographs in these. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm not expecting anything. I would be very happy just to get a rookie card of somebody. I start off with Bryce Harper, Glaber Torres, David Ortiz, Andrew Vaughn. There we go. Look at that. Very happy about that. I thought, I, once I got to David Ortiz, I was like, oh no. Very cool, Andrew Vaughn. That might end up being the best card of the box. All right, so let's see here. I put a whole bunch of cards in here. Um, things that I thought were pretty good. Um, you know, out of, I think when I only pick five, I'm probably gonna, I might put India in there. Kind of kind of uh let's try to limit it down here i gotta put kelnick i'm gonna put vaughn probably gonna do that one how many do i have there four yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do oh man i don't even know yeah see i don't think that jesse winker is gonna be much, worth much of anything i'm gonna not even put this one in my top five i'm gonna put this andrew vaughn as one I'm gonna put this card as two because I think that's probably worth more than just a base rookie card. And then I think you could put these three in any order you want. So I'm gonna go Andrew Vaughn, Kelnick, India. And there we go, guys. There's the Gracely five. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if I did well or not. Now I could also have put something like this in, but I, I would think that these would have less value than the base card. It's just a cool looking card to me. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, anyway, get out your get out and get your own box or get some retail and see if you guys can just pull some of these uh, top rookie cards so you have them. And then we uh, get ready for tops for next year and move on to uh, some other releases that are coming up, such as Panini Chronicles. Um, I'm not sure what else is what else we're waiting for, but I know that's one of them. Um, so uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again next time.